auction is in session. And in Moscow, several auctioneers take the stand, instead of only one, as in this country. Each is responsible for a particular part of the sale. And while they wait for bids, buyers from all parts of the Union examine with critical eye the fine show of furs and pelts. After examination, the buyers call out their bids, and the army of auctioneers on the rostrum shows a sign of life. To this Moscow Mart comes every kind of European fur, but most of the animals are trapped in the Union. And thanks to the never-failing attraction of fur for the fair, business is always brisk. Another attraction for the fair is physical culture. And at this lovely old mansion in the village of Nonington near Dover, the great cause is given its highest expression. This college of physical training is surrounded by 60 acres of playing fields and gardens. The gymnasium is built on very modern lines, and the modern girl has the advantage of the most modern methods of instruction. Some of the students are qualifying to become teachers. Their course, in addition to gymnastics, includes anatomy, first aid, swimming, diving and dancing. Horses, girls, up and over. From peaches to oranges, the orange harvest is in full swing in Palestine, and one of the simple pursuits of peace is carried out in an atmosphere of war. An armed guard is necessary in the plantations. The inoffensive pickers with their guard look like a party of prisoners going down the line, and that impression is heightened when you see other guards behind sandbags keeping close watch over the fields. But today's orange harvest must be gathered and made ready for sending away to market. The spoils of peace must be saved from the threatening storm. This harvest that's generous, yet bitter sweet.